turn it up, let it start. From block to block, we snatching hearts and jacking marks. And the Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for, time for another episode of the Morning Toke. My name is Eddie Law. It is, uh, I think, the 20th? November 20th. Flying through the day. Or flying through the, through the year, really. It was like January was like the longest month ever, and then the rest of the year just flew. So, uh, welcome to near the end of the year. Anyway, uh, it is Thanksgiving week, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys have plans with your family to have a good time, eat a lot of food. You know, spend that, that quality time with your loved ones. Hopefully everyone's safe and warm and healthy and happy above all. Um, I got my own plans with my family here. Got a couple Thanksgivings to go to actually. And we had to move ours to like Saturday because uh, my family's doing, my parents are doing theirs on Thursday. And, uh, and then we got to do our own uh, on Saturday. We got a big family. So um, that's how it's going down here. So I get two Thanksgivings. It'll be fun. A lot of food. I'm probably gonna fuck up my weight cut badly, but it's all good. I'll get back. I'm gonna. I have a plan to run at least 10 miles on uh, on, on Thursday morning, which you know nobody else wants to do, but I gotta do it just because I want that weight cut to continue. Anyway, God, I have like a sore throat today. I'm gonna be really pissed if I'm like sick for Thanksgiving. It's gonna suck. Anyway, um, this is the stuff that's on my day. So I didn't do a show yesterday. I meant to, but you know, I got kind of got kind of crazy before work, so I wasn't able to to uh, do that anyway at all. So uh, we uh, was this last weekend. Ponzo Nibio's win over Neil Magny was legit. A lot of people are saying Neil Magny's corner should have stopped the fight early. I I I don't agree because Neil Magny was still you know he was still conscious and everything. He kept getting popped in the eyeball though, and that kind of fucked up fucked him up. But that's kind of the fight game, right? Um, had they actually, you know, stopped the fight, I, I, I don't think there'd be as many, that many people saying, "Oh, it's a good stoppage." I think a lot of people would be like, "Oh, it's way too early. I can't believe they did that." They didn't give you know Neil a chance to fight, and then Neil Magnum had to go home with his "what if" shit. That being said, the, you know, the whoop, the beating he took, kind of, yeah, it, it's a weird one. It's a kind of in the middle. I don't agree with the fact. That, I don't agree with people saying that, that his corner should stopped it. I think. His corner, you know, wanted to give him a chance to fight, give him a chance to win. In MMA, you all, you know, in MMA, you always have a chance, always have a chance. We've seen the craziest comeback wins and the craziest last-second stoppages. So, it. Uh, that being said, the way he got finished was kind of savage. It's like, damn, that was like, damn, it's kind of mean. Anyway, um, what was the other fight that was on that was fucking crazy? Now I'm gonna be an asshole and not remember. Fuck. Um. Yeah, I don't remember. Fuck. Anyway, it was, it's been a long, a long few days. Anyway, I hope I remember during, during, while I'm recording this. Um, the other thing I, was, <laughs> I can't even talk. The other thing I wanted to talk about was Rachel Ostevich. We all know her. She's a, uh, I believe she's straw weight, maybe flyweight now. I can't remember what what, uh, what weight class her next fight is. Her, uh, her next fight. Uh, oh, that's 125, right? She's a flyweight against PVZ. And um, so it was reported that over the weekend she. Uh, was involved in a domestic violence, I don't know how to put it, assault incident, she was assaulted, basically, um, and a report saying that it was her husband, that's the guilty party, obviously, you know, we don't know the details, if he's been arrested, or questioned, or apprehended, or whatever, but the word is that her husband's the one that did it, right, and of course, this brings up the whole domestic violence issue when it comes to, uh, to MMA, especially. I mean, you know, we remember War Machine with Christy Mack. Um, more, more recently, um, um, what's her name? Uh, fuck, Andrea Lee, KGB, Andrea KGB Lee, with her husband and that, you know, that fucking that guy dude's got a you know KKK background, all those Nazi tattoos and shit. Um, it's, it's, you know, and then Greg Hardy. Everyone wants, you know, everyone forgets that. When Greg Hardy was in the NFL, in the NFL, he was accused of the same thing. Now he wasn't convicted, so we can't, you know, say you know convicted, you know, domestic violence, in, you know, whatever. Like we can't do that with Greg Hardy, technically. 
Um, but you know, people will make their own assumptions, right? And I, I tend to believe that he, you know, did whoop his girlfriend's ass and probably threatened to kill her, and that's why she didn't cooperate with the uh, authorities. Anyway, um, with Ostevich, it's a weird one because nobody, nobody ever wants to talk about the issue. They always change the issue, right? Because it doesn't fit their thoughts, or or makes them, or offends them, or it kind of like destroys their uh, their. Uh, defense I guess okay here's the thing so when something happens like this for some reason there's men out there that find the need or feel the need to defend themselves and that's never made sense to me like why do you feel the need to defend yourself you didn't you're not you're not beating women up are you like there's people out there saying like oh, I can't believe this is a thing in MMA and all some stuff and there's I've actually seen tweets from men saying like oh well I mean, you gotta hear both sides, yo. We don't know what she said or did. Like, does it matter what she said or did? Look, okay. Fair enough. If she attacked him and was like trying to kill him and he was defending himself, hey, you know, fuck. That's just like trying to defend himself. We don't know the details of it yet, but, but, you can't run out there and immediately start going, you know, start jumping on that shit. I mean, you can, I guess, but it's it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a weird it's a weird place to be. Because if it comes out that he, he wasn't trying to defend himself, he just attacked her for anything she said. Like, that's fucking horseshit. You know, like anything other than self-defense, like she was gonna kill you, right? Anything other than that, like no, dude, it's not. It's not okay. You can't do that shit. But there will be out people out there that, that will defend the you know the man and and and. and uh, like to the end, even if it comes out that he that he attacked her, which well, must have said something. Like, dude, that's not fine. It's a weird culture thing, right? Like, even as I'm speaking about it, I'm having a hard time putting words together about it because it's it's a weird thing that we don't talk about. It's like, even though it's well known that it happens, and then you know, for example, with War Machine, the entire MMA community came out, which is like, yeah, fuck War Machine. He's you know, you go to, he's you, you know, and people were going like giving the death penalty and shit or whatever, life in prison and shit. Um. You know, but with this one got kind of weird. It's kind of like, well, what was she doing? What did she do? And I'm like, what do you mean, what she, what she do? Like, bro, he busted her orbital bone, bro. Like, that's fucked up. And a lot of times there's an emotional response, right? It's like, I can't believe, well, whoever, you know, they should put her husband in jail right now. It's like, look, due process, chill out, right? If he did it, he's going to be found guilty. He's going to jail. Like, that's fucking it. Dude, done. Going to jail. But... We gotta wait and find all the facts and everything. Here's the other sad part. When this was it? Oh, I forgot what the number. What's the number? One in three. Something like one in three women are uh, are victim, victims of domestic uh, violence. Does that not blow anybody else's mind? Like, and so you know, to the people. I mean, and honestly, and this is kind of changing the argument a little bit, but. Um, I'm messing with the argument a little bit or arguing something different but doesn't that fuck with people that, that say well what did she say what did she do does that not fuck with you a little bit that one in three women are the ones getting their ass beat like one in, like one in three women were saying the wrong thing to a man and deserve to get her ass whooped like I don't buy that argument like at all at all it's a weird one it's a weird one especially dudes like especially guys that like have daughters like dude really like, if it happens to your kid, like, does it matter what she said or did? Aren't you going to lose your fucking mind? You know what I mean? It's a weird one. It's a weird one. Like, we want it to be such a black and white issue. Right? We want it to be. I wish it was such a black and white issue. Just really easily, like, yeah, no, never okay. Right? But it's not. It's fucking weird. And I'm sure I'll get flack for saying this shit because I, I should be saying it. People are going to think that I should be saying like, no, it's never okay. Like I said, if she came at him trying to kill him, trying to you know, hurt him, injure him, whatever, and he was defending himself, fine. But, the, you know, to, to break somebody's orbital bone does not sound like a self-defense fucking situation. Just my opinion. Obviously, we need the facts. We need the facts. 100%. Totally agree with that part. 
We need to get some facts in this bitch and find out what the fuck's going on. And then, you know, go from there. Find out if it was self-defense. I highly doubt it, but find out if it was self-defense or not. Um, that being said, man, like, like I said, some of the shit that I see on, online about about uh, about this whole issue is like, it's almost like, like it's just kind of dudes changing the argument. Like I, 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 well, I saw somebody saying, what did they say? They say some shit like, what about men that are victims of, of, of domestic violence, right? What about the men? I'm like, right, sure, fair enough. I'm sure there's dudes that are like victims, victims of domestic violence and domestic abuse. But we're not talking about men right now. We're talking about women. Men's a different issue. Like, similar but different. In that we're talking about domestic violence still. But that, that's that. Then, you know, you can change it. You, you can go into the stats about men in, you know, domestic violence situations, getting their ass beat and shit. Or, you know, whatever. But it's a different issue. You know, if you come at it with that, with that mindset, like, what about men? Well, fuck. What about dogs? Cats. Birds, zebras, like the fucking video that I tweeted out that fucking went crazy. Um, you know what about all that shit? You know, then you say, oh, well, then you know, it's like it's 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 you're, not, you're just changing the issue. You're changing the issue. You're changing the the argument. Changing the narrative. I don't know what the fuck to call it. The argument. Changing the argument. It's not the same argument. We're talking about women specifically right now. Right, but right now, but at the same time, with that whole thing, there's such a, such a weird, not weird, there's such a wave of like, like, there's a, there's a weird feeling that I, that, not feeling, there's a weird thing that I see online where it's like, all men are evil, that's like, what a lot of feminists are putting out there, well, all men are evil, all men are evil, and I'm like, well, no, the fuck we're not, like, I, I know I'm I'm goddamn I hope I'm not like I'm pretty sure I'm not you know I take care of my you know, my I take care of my girls I take care of me I take care of my you know, my, my my lady you know what I mean I'm I you know I fucking you know do the fucking tea party shit and you know like, oh, can we, do we have tea party sure sure I'll have a tea party with you and your fucking stuff there why not you know what I mean I like to think I'm not evil right. And sure, it's not... It sounds like a generalized statement. I'd say all men are evil. I think they need to they make it a little more specific. Like, all men that do blah, 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 blah are evil. Or, you know, that, that beat the shit out of women. Or, you know, kill people are evil. Like, I get that. But there's such a, like an anti... A lot of people feel like there's like this anti-man or anti-male sentiment out because of feminists and shit. That... They, they immediately take the defensive in any issue. And they get all, well, what about the men? I'm like, fucking, what do you mean, dude? Like, <laughs> what about the men? This is a, that's a different argument. We can, we can talk about that. That's a different issue. We can talk about that for sure. Let's talk about it. But right now we're talking about a female that was assaulted. Had her over the bone busted up, broken, whatever it is. And, you know what I mean? Now, now not only not only did she get, you know, was she a... a fucking possible victim of, of domestic violence you know she also gets you know she's losing the, the ability to, to put food on her you know to make a living now possibly because of it the fuck is wrong with you dude fucking people can't drive here god damn anyway so it's uh I don't know it's fucking sad dude like it's sad it fucking sucks to like read that shit for real, you know. But and the thing is, I think I think the you know the you know, people in the community as a whole like does a solid like has like the same sentiment like, hey, look, if a guy did it, fuck him, you know, put that dude behind bars ASAP. You know what I mean? But uh. And that's in any situation, really. Like, there's, there's no... There's, I mean, I don't... When it's a domestic violence situation, when a woman's getting beat up by, by a man just because, you know, he can or for whatever stupid reason, right? That doesn't include, obviously, like, self-defense. Like, she's trying to kill you, whatever, whatever. But... It's, it's just a messy, messy thing. And I'll be the first to tell you I don't understand it fully. I don't. Why? Because I've never been involved in it. 
I never even been involved in it. I've never really felt the urge to research it. I kind of do now, but I never felt the urge to research it very much. So I don't know. It's something I'm gonna look into. I'm curious now, like what the numbers, what what, what are the, what the other numbers are, and the circumstances, and how often it's self defense, and how often it's just dude being an asshole. I'm assuming most of the time it's a dude being an asshole. Let's be real. But it's just uh, to take that defensive spot so quickly. You know, it's kind of weird. And at the same time, like I understand what they're saying. You know, you know, not all men and whatever, whatever. But it's still a fucking. It's still something we shouldn't have to be fucking dealing with to be real. So I don't know, man. It's weird. Anyway, I got you know I probably should have thought all that shit out before I fucking like recorded this shit. But I legit was like talking about it with my lady before I left this, for work this morning. And it was a very, you know, we have good discussions. We never we are we even argue like opposite sides all the time, and um, we do a good job of not getting emotional about it. Like we know we just are you know discussing something. We don't get mad at each other, which is good. But it's uh, it was just something that that came up this morning over over coffee. And the weird thing is like having girls. It's like the first your first thought is what if, what if they were involved in, in something like that? Like I beat the living fuck out of that dude. That dude be over, right? Like it's the same thing with all this like hashtag Me Too stuff with you know. Like, hey, when you have girls, it's kind of different. Like, it changes your, your mindset a little bit. I think, anyway. Real quick, this is a pickup truck that was like, just flew by me. Dude has been, like, revving his loudest engine over and over again and maybe moving up, like, 10 feet further than I am. It's kind of funny. Meanwhile, I'm barely pressing the gas right now. But uh, I have a V8 in this car, so I don't fucking need to waste all that gas. I used to sell this thing to get a pickup truck. For real. I like pickup trucks way better than cars. Like, I've had this car for two years, three years now. Right? I don't like being this low to the ground. I don't like not having, you know, the the bed, a bed of the, you know, like a, you know, the bed of a truck to, like, put shit in. I don't like having, you know, the 4x4. Four four, I don't like not having that 4x4 four, four four ability. I don't like not being up, you know, pie and having, like, like, this car is comfortable. There's a lot of room in here for being a car, but... I'm ready to get back in a truck. I don't know. Maybe a Tundra. I like those Toyota Tundras. They're expensive as all fuck, but... I like Tundra, like, and I like the, the uh, Chevys. I've always been a Chevy guy. Or a GMC guy. Like, the Sierra has always been my... I've, I've had two trucks in my life. I've had them for, you know, like, five, six, five, six seven years each. And they've, uh, they've always been uh, Sierras. I, I had one S10... That was more like a toy because it was lowered and it was S10 Extremes. It was all souped up. It was sick as fuck, but I had to sell it because uh, it was just inexpensive at that point. So yeah, this is inexpensive too, but it at least gets me to you know to work and everyone else I need to go. Mind you, I did put muffin. Like you could hear you, you can hear in every episode. You can hear like the exhaust system I put in this shit, the mufflers and whatnot. It's loud as fuck. Anyway, uh, what else can we talk about? I got really not a lot more. Thanksgiving, man. I don't know if we're going to have a show. I'm assuming not. Uh, or we might. I don't know. It depends on on uh, on, on the guys. I've talked to Fred and Jesse. This is fourth wall shit right here that I don't care about. We can talk about. Um, I'm going to talk to those dudes to see what's up. So I'll talk to them today and see if they want to do a show or not. It'll be up to them. I wouldn't mind skipping it. You know what I mean? But play it by ear, folks. I got Thursday off of work anyway, so it's all good. Um, I don't get Friday off though. Shout out to the people that have to go back to work on Friday. This, you know, day off for Thanksgiving is a fucking tease. <laughs> All right? Everyone else gets a four day weekend. We get a weird day off. Then we go Friday and then we get two days off. Which I'm used to. I don't mind it. It just kind of, it just, it's just kind of like, really, motherfucker? Like you're teasing me with, with the fucking day off. So, fun times, man. Fun times. Uh, what else I want to talk about? Oh, the fucking 
Okay, so I, I fucked up and I was watching, uh, uh, I think Fox News and they had a, and disclaimer, I don't normally watch network news. Like, I watch CNN on, like, I go to CNN.com to get, like, headlines. Most of the time I get them on Twitter, to be honest with you. Um, but I go to, like, CNN once in a while just to get headlines and shit. Usually not, like, big headlines and shit. But, uh, I think I was flipping channels the other day, or the other night. Actually, it was last night. Yeah. And I got to Fox News, my local Fox News channel, or affiliate, whatever the fuck they call it. And, uh, they were talking about Donald Trump going to, like, touring the, the, uh, the fires, the fire, uh, whatever, scenes in California. Where, all, you know, the devastation of the fires. But, like, there's, like, eight, it's up to, like, 82 people dead. Thousands, thousands of, like, uh, homes, like, destroyed. Or, you know, a couple thousand homes destroyed and thousands of acres burned. And they're still missing, like, a, like over a thousand people that can't, they aren't accounted for and shit. And this dude goes in there and he basically says, like, they should have raked the leaves. Like, they should have raked the leaves in the forest. And I heard the statement, but it didn't click right away. Like, I, cause I had just gotten home from the gym and I was fucking exhausted and shit. And then, like, they repeated it. They should have raked the leaves. And we're talking about he should have raked the, they should have raked the leaves and in the forest. And they asked him about global warming. Does it change your opinion? He goes, no. But we're going to have a very well, well kept, like, forest floors. And I'm standing, or sitting there, and at that point it caught, right? It hit my ear. And I'm like, what? What? <laughs> Bro, what? And he said something like Finland or Sweden or somebody fucking, they do, they, uh, they sweep their, 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 they rake their leaves or they sweep their floor, their, their, their forest floors or rake their leaves. And, I was, and then they, they ate, okay, brought out a slew of memes that I, fuck, it spent, dude, I killed like two hours last night looking at those memes. Laughing my ass off, honestly. But I should have been in bed. Instead of looking at those memes, but I, I, I said, fuck it. Anyway. What the fuck? Is there nobody with the president saying, hey, uh, don't say that stupid shit? Like, for real. I mean, it was probably off the cuff. It, probably wasn't, it was probably not a, not a planned quote. But bro, really? And people get mad, they call the president an idiot. When you say stupid ass shit like that, and that's not the first thing. He said, he said a lot of dumb ass shit. And this, this is not talking about his politics or how he's doing as a president. You can relax your shit. Put your MAGA hat down. It's okay. I'm not criticizing your boy. But let's be real. He says stupid shit constantly. Right? And it's hilarious. But he's a difference though. When George Bush uh, Jr., when W was saying stupid shit, people were like, wow, what did he say? When Trump says stupid shit, you start laughing for a second and you go, wait a minute. This is the motherfucker with the nukes? Shit. I hope someone's next to him going like, yeah, no, no, Donald. No, no, can't do that. Legit. It's fucking scary how stupid this man acts and how stupid, this, the, the kind of stupid shit he says. Like, I hope he's just trolling us and he's really, like, a smart dude. And he's just like, you know, he's like, oh, watch the headlines tomorrow. I'm going to say the dumbest shit possible. Should have raked the leaves. Like, I fucking wait. I hope that's what it is. It's probably. It doesn't seem like it, but I hope it's what it is. Oh, and the other thing, the White House Correspondents Dinner is gonna have some like an, an author speaking at it instead of like the usual comedian. Are we? Are, are people that thin-skinned in the administration that they they can't handle a comedian? They're going off that. Uh, I think what his name is Michelle Wolf, I think, or something Wolf. At last year's dinner, just like grilling the shit out of the GOP. And Donald Trump skips those dinners, right? Because he doesn't like when people make fun of him. But he calls everyone else snowflakes, or the, you know, the snowflakes, the snowflakes, the weak, the fake news media, the weak media, the very failing media. But I can't handle jokes about me by comedians. Word, word. Like to me, that makes you look like a bitch. It makes you look like a bitch. And again, I'm not talking about his politics. I'm not talking about what he's doing as a president. I'm talking about him as a person. Sounds like a thin-skinned bitch. 100%. You know what I mean? And uh, I, used, I honestly, I watched the correspondence dinner on YouTube like the day after. Um, because it's always funny. There's always good, you know, good like ribbing jokes about politicians and shit. And that's fun to watch. Probably not gonna watch it this year. They have some author there, probably like you know, blowing the GOP and blowing the fucking Democrats. And, we all do such a great job. 
No, no, you all suck, by the way. All parts are fucking... Like, fucking awful, in my opinion. Oh, my guy's good. Word. Like, fuck, if that's how you feel, your guy's good, then your guy's good. Good, good for you. I happen to think they're all on the same team. They're all fucking crooks. But you don't have to agree with me. That's okay. Like, no one, you know what I mean? Like, just like I don't have to agree with you, so... But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, I'm, like, rambling now. And, like, my throat hurts, so I'm assuming I'm sick, which fucking sucks. But, anyway, I'll catch you guys, uh, either tomorrow for another Money Toke Money Toke. And or keep a Warriors. We'll see. Let you guys know. Y'all treat each other nice, please. Be cool to each other. Be courteous. Be polite. Okay. Let's, uh, at least in the MMA community, let's, like, help each other, like, like achieve a good, good, uh, reputation, a good name. All right, guys, have a good one. Oh, yeah. Shout out to SpiceProz.com, represent, rip the warriors.com, hit it up. Peace.